Hey guys, I uh, have the privilege of talking to Olivia from West Networks. Uh, I recently did the planning for the Australian or the Australia and New Zealand Technical Summit, and Olivia on the other side of the world is doing the one for West, uh, which is based out of Florida. And I thought I'd have a quick chat to her to talk about the different packages that are available as we are committed to trying to bring 20 to 30 Aussies with us. And uh, I think it's worth you guys knowing what you're in for. Um, it will be spoken about in US dollars, uh, but you can do your own translation when that makes sense. So thank you, Olivia. Welcome and great to see you and meet you for the first time. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to meet you. Um, excited to be sharing so much about the summit and hopefully get a good group from Australia to come over. Awesome. So yeah, do you want to step into the packages and let me know uh, what the different packages are and what's included? Yeah, absolutely. So we have general passes and then we have a VIP pass. Um, that's kind of the two main categories that we have. Um, our general pass and will include breakfast Monday through Wednesday, lunch. Um, it will include access to our Monday night, Monday night mixer. Um, we host kind of like a mixer for everybody after the first day of training, um, free drinks, uh, usually some sort of like snack or d'oeuvres or desserts. It's really fun. Um, you will have the option of choosing which training you would want to participate in. Um, PepLink certified sales associate or sales specialist training, PepLink certified associate training, PepLink certified engineering training. And at the end of the training, you have the opportunity to test and actually earn your certification. That is all included in the price of the ticket. Um, in addition to that, uh, we have the. One? So is it the same price for the summit depending on which training you do, or do the different trainings have different uh, price tags? associated all training costs the same there's not a difference in price uh now there is a little bit of um a prereq for the pce the peplink certified engineering training you need to have a 2023 peplink certified associate certificate in order to participate in the pce training um, if you don't, it's got to be 2023 or 2024, so you could get it in 2024 and still attend. Um, and anybody who, during registration, says that they want to participate in PCE, um, we will also send you kind of like a little email application after you register that will have the spot where you can upload your certificate, your PCA certificate, and then also like a couple of questions just to make sure that this training is right for you it is going to be very intensive um it's going to be very detailed it's not a beginner course um by any means if you are confused like or maybe you're not like a pro in the network engineering space or network architecture space maybe pce is not for you um or not for you yet Okay, maybe start with PCA, or if you really want to get to know the basics, um, if you really just want to get familiar with PepLink, PCSS is also a really great choice, um, which is kind of why we're offering all three training options. So the difference between general pass and the VIP pass, you get um, swag as well with the general pass, but the PepLink VIP, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the PepLink VIP pass is going to be a bit nicer swag, um, some premium items, maybe a special gift. Nothing's confirmed, but maybe a special gift from Peplink. In the past, they've usually put something together for our VIPs. Um, so maybe some cool piece of technology or something. Granted, no guarantees yet, but um, <laughs> in the past, we've, we've, we've gotten something pretty cool from Peplink for our VIPs. Um, you also get... Uh, like access to our VIP reception on Sunday, November 3rd. And that's just for VIPs. It'll be special like hors d'oeuvres, drinks, um, nice kind of like start to the event. Um, and our VIPs are kind of like uh, a sponsor. They're the ones who are really making sure that this event can continue. Um, they're just it's a really great way to support the event and to keep it going. This is like the first 
like summit available to all end users in the US and we really want to keep that momentum going. So it's an opportunity um, for people to kind of support and be like, hey, we want to keep this going. Well, not um, just in the US, the world, because it's like if you're not kidding from Australia, then that makes it the world, I believe. <laughs> I I don't know if there's any user summits, like full open end user summits anywhere but i that's also why i say in us because i don't want to like leave somebody out in case uh there is one somewhere like maybe in europe or something i'm not sure um but in the us this is the first peplink summit or convention conference training situation that is open to everybody not just partners so like anybody who uses peplink um because we have a lot of people in the broadcast space a lot of people in mobile medical space we have a lot of people in event space where they might be like a freelancer or they might be the IT pro for their team where they do need to know this information or be very 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 helpful if they knew this information um, and they can handle everything on their own without having to call for support so uh, having that training available to everybody is is pretty awesome and then I suppose the other thing to talk about being the the people who we travel with like the need hotel rooms uh the summit itself is in the orlando hilton is that correct yes the summit is being hosted in the hilton orlando convention center it is absolutely beautiful it is right across the street from the orlando convention center but it will be inside the hotel um you will we have a booking link on our registration website uh where you can book your discounted room rates from I believe it's November 1st through the 8th. So they're even giving us discounted rates a couple of days before and a couple of days after. Um, so if you want to come and you want to stay and a couple of days before and you want to go to the Disney parks or the Universal parks, or if you want to go to Disney Springs, um, there's a, that option. You have a few more days with a little bit of a better hotel discounted rate. We also have tickets that include your hotel booking in them. So I know there's a lot of people that when it comes down to getting budgets approved or when it comes to like getting travel approved, the more consolidated and concise the pricing can be, the better. So we did an option where you can pay for your hotel room with your ticket in a bundled package um, to make it simple, easy uh, for you and your budgets and your approvals. And then that way uh, we will let the hotel no and they will book your hotel room for you for november 3rd through 6th with that ticket those are the nights that are included and then they will email you your personal confirmation awesome and then if you still wanted to do some days either before or after that you can still do that at a reduced rate as well i think you were saying before yep yeah you should be able to either use the booking link or if you're having trouble or you just want to make sure everything's going smoothly anybody can always reach out to me at olivia.gregory at westnetworks.com to ask me any questions um i do believe that we also have a contact form on our registration website so if you forget my email you can also email there and i'll get out back out to you um any event booking or like agenda questions let me know i'll be happy to answer Awesome. And I might have misheard this before, but I think you were saying something about potentially people who had hotel rooms or room nights might also be able to get discounted or free park access to some of the. OK, so the hotel does have, from my understanding, the hotel does have a shuttle that goes to the Universal Park. Um, it's from my understanding, it is a free shuttle that will take you over. I don't know exactly what times, um, but that way also if somebody is bringing like family, their like wife or their kids or their spouse, um, if they want to go out to the parks while you're at the summit or if, you know, you want to skip out in a little bit and you want to go, um, that's totally up to you. I won't say anything. Uh, I mean, it is all voluntary. If you wanted to leave and miss some of it, you totally could. Um, so they do have, from my understanding, they have a free shuttle that goes over to the Universal Parks. And then they also, um, part of your hotel room, you get two tickets for an Orlando trolley um, per hotel room per day. And that trolley kind of takes or it's kind of like a bus trolley situation. It takes you around Orlando. It has different stops all around Orlando, maybe not the amusement parks, but the shopping, the food, the restaurants, um, that kind of scene, if that's maybe a little bit more your speed, they also give two tickets for that trolley per day per room. 
Wow, that sounds like very good value. So thank you for your time. I know it's approaching uh, 1700 in the States. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no worries. I really appreciate it. We'll talk very soon. Oh, I, yeah, absolutely. Uh,